we started auditioning for Brandon Bryce. Now, we thought this was going to be a really hard role to cast. Jackson was one of the first of the boys to read. I think he was in our first batch, and he was impossible to top. It's all acting, all right? <laughs> I'm most excited to, as I play him, I get to experience the changes that he goes through throughout the movie. Brandon as a character, on the one side, he's this sweet, lovable boy. And on the other side, he's trying to be more independent, just like all kids do. Some of it is stuff that I can pull from real life experience, and then some of it is, killing people. <laughs> this kid is going through his adolescence. And he also is finding things out about himself and about what he can do and his powers that makes him feel literally powerful. Brandon is heavily conflicted. He tries to see it as more of an evil force, but when everyone in his normal life starts betraying him, he starts to see it as something that's more comforting. Traditionally, in a horror movie, they pull the chain, they turn, and a slasher is there, the audience screams, and then he stabs him, and then you cut to black, right? But in this, he looks over, and he sees his nephew in his closet wearing a mask, and he just rips the mask off of him. It's like, what are you doing here? Brandon, get in the truck! 